Hey everybody, welcome back to Whiteboard Finance. So today we're gonna step away from the whiteboard because I wanna show you eight ways to make money on the side in 2019. And the easiest way to do that is to actually share my computer screen. So the reason I chose to make a video about making money on the side is because there are so many comments that I get on my personal finance videos where people are saying, oh, these videos are for people that make $200,000 a year. I make minimum wage, blah, blah, blah. Blah, this and that although I can sympathize with people that make minimum wage because I used to be a bus boy I used to work at a pizza shop I did all that stuff trust me uh, I can definitely sympathize but I'm also someone who's made more money as their career has evolved as well um, so I can realize both ends of the spectrum the reason why I want to make this video is because the people that are saying oh your videos are only for people that make two hundred thousand dollars a year well you're completely wrong because in 2019 it's never been been easier to make money on the side and that's exactly what I'm going to show you in this video so some of these methods you probably already know about some of them you don't have access to such as real estate some you absolutely have access to and you'll see what the dollars per hour break down because as always I share everything in a spreadsheet so let's move on to the very first one so what we have here is Airbnb so unless you've been living under a rock Airbnb is simply where people People allow other people to sleep or stay at their home, their room, or even a shared room uh, within their private residence. So, for example, if you're not familiar with how this works, I'm going to show you the different options here. So, you essentially pick whatever location you want to stay at. You can click on home type so you can have the entire place to yourself. So if you own your own place, this is a great way for you to rent it out while you're not there. So if you go on a holiday or on a vacation, you can essentially pay for your holiday or vacation by having someone else stay in your place while you're actually out vacationing or out of town. You can do a private room. So in case you're someone who doesn't have a separate living facility or a separate living home, uh, you can actually rent out private rooms within your own home and have people stay with you. It's almost like a version of house hacking where you um, simply rent out to roommates or rent out another side of your house to someone else. Uh, and there's also the shared room space where you can have many people within one living environment. So that's the first one. The reason Airbnb is so powerful is because even if you're renting, uh, and this may get outlawed here soon, but just a quick tip for my viewers, even if you're renting your own apartment, say your rent is $1,000 a month, if you know that you can make a spread on that rent by renting out private rooms or even renting out the apartment while you're not there, uh, yeah, you can definitely get in trouble for doing that, and I'm not recommending that, but there are people that do Airbnb arbitrage, okay? So if you know your rent is 1000 bucks a month, but you're making making 2000 on Airbnb, you're making that spread of $1,000 a month and getting paid to live uh, where you live. So the second one we're going to talk about is essentially an Airbnb for cars, and this service is called Turo. So if you've never heard of Turo before, this is essentially the same thing. So you basically enter where you're going to be, uh, when you need the car from and until and these are basically people who rent out their own vehicles so if you have a vehicle in an area that's highly desirable like a tourist area and you know you don't need the vehicle for like a weekend or a week or whatever you can rent out your own vehicle for a daily rate so you can see here the Chevy Camaro is getting 49 bucks a day this Ford Mustang is getting 55 uh, my friend actually visited California and he rented a Porsche 911 convertible um, I forgot what the daily rate was but he said that it enhanced his trip immensely because he basically was driving down highway one um, I believe he went from San Diego to San Francisco and ended up back to San Diego so this is a great way for someone who actually has an extra vehicle um, or someone who doesn't use their vehicle all the time so if you want to sign up for any of these um, sites or, or that I mentioned in this video there's going to be links in the description below uh, it's just another way to support this channel but this is a great way to to uh, earn some extra income from an asset that is typically depreciating and typically taking money out of your pocket. 
So staying within the car theme, uh, let's talk about Amazon Flex. So this one may not be familiar to you. Uh, Amazon Flex are the people that deliver your Amazon packages that don't look like a UPS or whoever Amazon uses as their primary logistics company. So Amazon Flex, think of them as independent contractors uh, that have a very flexible schedule. So the reason I like this and the reason I'm recommending it is because the amount that Amazon pays you is a decent amount, um, but obviously you have to pay taxes that are quarterly if you're an independent contractor and you need to set aside uh, money obviously for depreciation and maintenance on the vehicle however the scheduling is really cool because the hours are very flexible as you can see here um, so if you're someone that already works a nine to five and you don't feel like driving for uber or lyft all you have to do is deliver packages and you can essentially be your own boss so you, you, I recommend you doing the math um, based on you know depreciation of the vehicle, maintenance costs, taxes, all that stuff. But that is another great opportunity to earn some money on the side. So moving forward, let's move on to usertesting.com. So usertesting.com is essentially um, picture companies that need user testing done and they don't have the resources to be able to do that internally. So what they do is they'll actually pay for you to take these tests. These are really easy tests. You're just basically giving your opinion for these surveys and you're actually getting compensated instantly through PayPal once the survey is done. So just so you guys know that I'm not BSing and actually practice what I preach, I actually did this for a little bit in 2017 just to see what it was like and I took about six or seven surveys here. So you can see on the first one I made $3, but on the other ones I was making about $10 a piece and these only took about half an hour. So I was essentially making $20 an hour on the side. And again, the nice thing is, is that uh, this goes straight to your PayPal account and you can just transfer it right to your bank. So pretty cool stuff there. So if you're someone that likes testing out products and um, letting your opinion be heard, I definitely recommend user testing. So the next one that is very overlooked, and this is an actual spreadsheet that I kept track of from 2016, essentially from August to December. And just so you guys know that I'm not BSing, uh, I was a valet driver. So I worked for a valet company. Um, I was either between jobs or I was just doing this for money on the side. I actually don't remember. Um, but ultimately, uh, let's see if the screen is recording here. Okay, um, I'm not sure why this is freezing. There we go. So ultimately, I was a valet driver for a few months just to earn some extra money on the side. And basically, um, you can see here that the earnings were pretty incredible. And keep in mind, you guys, that this is one of those industries where everything is under the table. You're getting paid straight cash. Tips are cash, and also what my boss paid me was cash. So there were some people that I worked with that took advantage of this and never paid taxes on this money. I'm not advocating that you do that. Uh, I'm just telling you that it was very lucrative while I did it. So the reason I'm trying to get this to load, and obviously you know it's not working, <laughs> is that um, you guys can see here that I actually created this spreadsheet in August of 16. It's just not letting me scroll down. There we go. So I made this in August of 16, okay? So you guys know that I'm not just making this up just to make a YouTube video. Let's get into the numbers of valet driving. You can see here that um, since I'm a spreadsheet nerd, I kept the date here, the venue, the start time and the end time, the total hours worked. Um, sometimes these weren't set schedules. Sometimes you'd get cut earlier or later. Uh, the amount of tips I earned, the hourly rate I earned while working, and then also the total shift dollars per hour. So this was a, um, basically combining the hours worked plus the tips earned divided by the hours worked. Um, so essentially, if you look at this, the way it breaks down to was right around 1963 an hour, if you guys can see that. Oh, sorry, it's cut off in the video. Um, but basically this column that's highlighted, it's $19.63 per hour, and this was all under the table. So if I chose not to pay taxes, wink, wink, uh, you're basically making 20 bucks an hour um, getting paid to drive valet. So do not overlook that. I drove a lot of cool cars. I met a lot of cool people. I met a lot of Cavs players, a lot of Browns players, uh, the coach from the Cavs, Tyron Liu, uh, Chip the Ripper was a rapper that I met. I met a lot of other things, that I, a lot of other professions that I'm not gonna talk about. Um, I met all those while valet driving. 
So that actually brings me to my next point is bartending, okay? So whether you're a server or you're a bartender, uh, that's another job that gets paid under the table. So a lot of bartenders that I worked with, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, they never paid taxes on that money or they claim significantly less than they actually earned. I'm not advocating that you do that, but once it worked out, I was actually making about $25 an hour straight cash minus the taxes that I paid on that money. So ultimately, bartending, not only are you going out, so when all your friends are going out and they're partying and you feel like you're missing out because you have to work, bartending, you are out, but you're making money instead of spending money. So not only are you meeting like really good looking girls, uh, sometimes really good looking guys, depending on how you, you know, which way you swing. Uh, bartending was social. It was awesome. I love doing it. And it's a really tight knit community. So bartenders used to go out with each other after their shift and you just build a lot of real nice camaraderie there. Not only that, it's a high paced job. You have to memorize everyone's orders. You have to be quick, you have to be efficient and you have to be nice. So it teaches you social skills, customer service and sales skills as well. So don't overlook bartending or serving. So the next one is actually a gentleman, and this is, if this guy can do it, anyone can. I heard of this gentleman on Side Hustle Nation podcast. He basically cleans parking lots. Yes, believe it or not, for 30 years, this guy has been earning a six-figure income cleaning parking lots. Uh, so I listened to his podcast on Side Hustle Nation, and if you want to buy his book, I actually have a link down below in the description. This guy talked about how he essentially, um, on his commute to work, before work and after work, he would literally clean parking lots for retail businesses and make six figures doing it. So for all the people out there saying, oh, I make minimum wage and there's no way I can make extra money, blah, blah, blah. If, if you can pick up trash, you can make money. Um, so I'm not some like get rich quick guru. It just takes some hard work and some gumption. Uh, and then finally, last but not least, start a YouTube channel. It's a no-brainer in my opinion. Uh, so you can see here, this is my own channel. Um, I'm not going to go into my back end just because um, YouTube may have some terms against that. Um, but what you can see here is you can see number of daily subscribers, video views, and estimated earnings. Uh, what I will say is, since I am a financial channel, uh, my estimated earnings um, are definitely more than this higher end, uh, just because my viewers are worth more and I'm providing more value than just a prank channel, for example. Um, so my views are a lot more valuable to these advertisers. So starting a YouTube channel, you're gonna eat a bunch of crap for a very long time and it's a very slow grind. However, once your channel pops off, then you'll start making some serious money. If you're an expert in something, if you can provide value in something, whether you think it's valuable or not, you can absolutely turn your skill set or expertise into a channel. Whether you're uh, doing left-handed puppetry <laughs> or you're doing gardening or whatever, you can turn that into a channel if you bring value, um, you don't come off as sleazy or salesy and people genuinely like and trust you. Um, the views will follow. I've been doing whiteboard finance for over a year and a half now, and I went from periods where I wasn't making any money, nor did I care because I was providing tremendous value to my audience. So ultimately, you guys, this is just a quick um, recap of eight different ways you can make money on the side in 2019. So I don't wanna see any more excuses in my comments section of, oh, these financial tips are only if you make $200,000. That's bull crap, dude. There's so many immigrants that come to this country with zero dollars and zero English, and they're some of the most exp uh, uh, experienced and the most wealthy people that I know. So at the end of the day, you guys, it's all about the value that you uh, put in, whether it's hours, whether it's trading your time for dollars, whether it's valeting cars and just being nice to people and earning a tip, that's how you get ahead in life. Thank you so much for watching. If this video was valuable to you, please share it with one friend. And as always, have a prosperous day.